Okay, first things first, let's talk about grouping. I want to talk today about using groups of faders, a VCA fader, and also using a track stack inside of a folder stack. To do that, let's open up the library. I'm going to use Y to open up the library. And under drum kit, producer kits, there's this great kit called Unmixed. It's basically a drum kit all ready to go, but it's not mixed. So I open it up and get myself a little mixed together. So kick in, kick out. We're going to make believe that this is all awesome. And Tom's come down a little bit. I got my panning together. There's my room. Everything's cool. So then what I do is I grab all of my drums. I'm going to hold shift and click down here at the end. And under group, assign group one. When I do that, a group name pops up over here in the inspector. I type drums. And if I click and hold on the group and go to group settings, I can choose what is going to be followed by each of these faders. So all the faders are going to follow each other. I like to use editing as well, because that means any regions that you have that are recorded will all be edited at the same time. So if you move a hi-hat, it'll also move the hi-hat and the overheads and everything else. That's how you want it to work with the drum kit. So I don't want to do my panning because my panning is going to be all different on the different parts of the kit, but I do want volume and muting is good too. And maybe I'll do color just for fun. So then I come down here, hit option C to open my color palette, choose red, move a fader. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're also going to open up VCA section, channel strip components, VCA. So what VCAs do is they allow you to have a fader, it's simply a fader that will attenuate all of the drums, solo and mute all the drums. So it's just a fader. There's no audio passing through it. There are no plugins. But if I move this fader down, the entire drum kit's going to come down in volume. So it's sort of a different way of doing a similar thing. You know, I can either come over here and move one of these faders and they all move together, or I can come over here and I can move this VCA up and down. Now what I'm also going to do, I'm going to take this VCA out of here for now. So select one of these drum elements, hit shift C, which selects them all by color. Nice, huh? And I'm going to say no VCA and go back up into this window, track, flat and stack. So here's the deal. All of those drum elements were being packed into something called a summing stack where all of the drums were playing through an auxiliary. And it's kind of cool because then you can process the auxiliary, right? But what I want to do is take like my snare top and my snare bottom, group those together. So I'm creating a track stack, summing stack, and then I'll use my kicks. Here we go. Kick in and kick out. And I'll create a track stack, summing stack. So what's cool is that I can like pop a compressor on just the kick and I can, you know, process up the snares. So it does both snares at the same time when you pop anything on this channel strip and it does both kicks at the same time. If you do that channel strip, pretty cool. But what's really cool is you come up here to track, create track stack, folder stack, create. So now we have this folder stack gives us a fader. Guess what? That's a VCA fader, which is pretty cool. And grab all this stuff by hitting shift and selecting it, popping it up in there. Something a lot of people don't know. If you have a folder stack, you can put track stacks inside of that. You can put, well, summing stacks anyway. You can pop in there. So now my entire drum kit is really well organized. And it automatically made me a VCA fader. This fader right here will turn down the entire drum kit, which is pretty cool. So it acts as a VCA fader. And as you see on all of the individual drum pieces, it's got the VCA setting. Except for kick in and kick out, because guess what? <laughs> Those are getting summed. So I go to my kick sum. See, that's a sign of the VCA. And this is a sign of the VCA. Beautiful just how we want it to be. 
All right, now that we got that, let's move on. I'd like to talk about Ultrabeat and using sidechain with Ultrabeat. 